What's up, everybody? It's Azel2012 here with you again, and today I've got a game on, uh, what the fuck is this, Aftermath, and it's a Kill Confirmed game. I'm using the LSW, and this was, like, the second game I've ever really used it. It's one of the only light machine guns I've never really, uh, used all that much, and thought it was pretty good for a first game. I don't think I had any attachments on it because it was level one, but I mean, I fucked kids up in this match. I went 41 and three, called in, I think, two Warthogs, and I think three Escort drones. Could be two. Don't know. We shall see. But today, I want to talk about something that has been bothering me for years. And this has come up over and over again in the world. It has come up over and over again on the news. It has come up over and over again in the in all forms of media. And I want to talk about the Westboro Baptist Church. Now, the bad thing is, is that I hate talking about them. Uh, I hate giving them attention. I hate doing all of that. I don't like it. And the reason that I don't like it is that I feel like it empowers them. I feel like it gives them what they want. And that's people to look at them. And that's people to pay attention to them. Uh, in, in case you don't know, and I don't understand how you couldn't, in case you don't know who the Westboro Baptist Church is, they are a very small church out of uh, Kansas. And they're roughly about 100 members, give or take a few. And they're all pretty much related. Uh, and the church is run by uh, Fred Phelps and his daughters and a few other of his children. I think he has like 13 kids. Uh, a few of them have disowned him. They will no longer speak to him because of his insanity and his just craziness and his hate speech. Uh, he is uh, leading this church down a path where uh, other, other public groups have ended up, such as the KKK. Now... What I want to talk about with this is the fact that recently the Westboro Baptist Church has jumped into, they, they protest funerals, right? So let's get a little backstory here. Let's talk about this real quick. Let's give a little backstory. So they protest funerals. They protest everything. They protest movies. They've protested Kevin Smith's movie Red State. I mean, he fought with them on Twitter and on Facebook and all over the place for a long time uh, when he was promoting his movie Red State because he loosely based it off of the Westboro Baptist Church. Now, uh, because of this, like, they drive me insane. They're just annoying. And whenever they protest these groups, you know what they do? They send three to five people to protest these funerals. All right? They're also better known for protesting funerals of United States soldiers that have uh, died over in Iraq and Afghanistan and other places. And... You know, people have started counter-protesting. I mean, even, like, uh, Hell's Angels and motorcycle gangs and stuff have started, like, creating protest blockades so that the family members and people grieving don't have to put up with these assholes. And, but, because that's what they are. They're assholes. They're attention whore assholes. They're pathetic human beings. They don't deserve to live on the same planet as the rest of us normal people. They give other people in the Christian community a terrible name. They're awful, all right? But what I want to talk about with them today is the fact that, uh, unfortunately, uh, about a week ago, it's been a little less than a week, I think I want to say it was last Thursday or Friday, uh, the the guitarist of Slayer, one of two of them, there are two, Carrie King and Jeff Hanneman. Jeff Hanneman died. Jeff Hanneman died, and he had uh, necrotizing fasciitis, and they're saying that that was caused by a spider bite that he got in 2011 that he basically left untreated for a long period of time. Slayer is 49 years old. Or, excuse me, not Slayer, but Jeff Hanneman is 49 years old. Slayer's been around for over 30 years. If you know anything about heavy metal music, you'll know that they are one of the top heavy metal bands in the world, still to this day. Still to this day. I don't know what they're going to do now. I mean, I, I would hope that they'd keep making music, but it would make sense if they didn't, you know? I mean, one of their founding members is gone. And Westboro Baptist Church made an announcement that they were going to protest uh, Jeff Hanneman's funeral. Now, in a way, it's almost understandable because they're a Christian church. They're a Baptist church. And Slayer's known for being um, a violent band. Uh, they, they talk a lot about Satanism. They talk about, about you, you know, serial killers and genocide. And a lot of their songs are incredibly violent. Now, I'm not saying that they're incredibly violent people. But that's what they sing about. That's what their music's about. <clears throat> 
And what bothers me about all this is the fact that I am a huge Slayer fan. I have been for a long time, since I was a teenager, and I'll be turning 30 this month. Uh, they, they've always been an awesome band, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not saying they're fantastic talent-wise. I mean, they're a speed metal, they're a thrash metal band. You know, they, they give me everything I want from a metal band. You know, they're aggressive. They're awesome. I love them. And I'm always going to love that band. And Westboro Baptist Church, I don't care if they think that God hates fags or God sent... Uh, you know the Boston bomber. I don't. I don't care that they think that. I care that they think they they deserve to be in the public fucking eye with their hate-filled bullshit, their hate mongers, their assholes. They try to hurt society with what they talk about. They try to hurt society with their disgusting signs and their barricades, and they hide behind the First Amendment like a group of pussies, because that is what they are. They are pussies. They are nothing more than cowardly pussies. If you got into one of these worthless fucks faces, they would back down in a heartbeat. They will not confront someone. They're worthless. They will sit in a corner with their sign behind four barricades and a hundred cop cars because the cops know that if they turn their backs for five seconds, someone is going to erase these fucking cocksuckers. And out of all of the groups that they have protested, out of all of the people that they've protested, military funerals, and celebrity funerals, and, you know, many others, uh, they're fucking with Slayer fans. Apparently, they don't know who Slayer really is. I think they just think, oh god, they have a pentagram as a logo. We know that they're all full of the devil. They must be the devil. So you know what? Let's protest this asshole's funeral. And we're gonna... God hates fags and God hates fag and neighbors. And God hates the devil music that you listen to. You've worshipped your false idols. Those are all things that these people have said. I mean, you know, almost verbatim. They're sick. They're sociopaths. They're brainwashing their children. They're brainwashing the rest of their family. And they're raising more and more people to act like this. They're pathetic. They do not deserve to live. And honestly, I wouldn't miss them. Not one of them. And I don't think anyone would. And the bad thing is, is that they are so protected by the laws of this country that there's nothing anybody can do about it except for counter-protest. But what they're messing with now are a bunch of die-hard Slayer fans. I don't know if you guys have ever seen any, you know, pictures on the internet of what Slayer fans do. Uh, Slayer fans carve the name Slayer into their fucking bodies into their heads, into their arms. Right. They're, they're just as crazy as Westboro Baptist Church is, but in a different way. They take their aggression out in a personal manner and in, in music and at concerts. And God damn it, I can't help but hope that one of these Slayer fans just hops that barricade and just yells, fucking Slayer! And just drops, ki drop kicks every one of these fucking cocksuckers right in the throat. And just listens to them choke to death on their own fucking blood. Because they're worthless human beings. I hate their guts. They, they make me extremely angry. I hate them. <clears throat> and there's nothing that can be done about them. There's nothing. They just, they, they hide behind free speech. It's unfortunate. So I want to let you guys know that uh, I just wanted to vent a little bit here. I went 41 and 3, called in a few escort drones and stuff. I appreciate you guys listening to me. You guys have been great. I appreciate you guys, you know, watching my videos. It's been fun so far. Hopefully I'll have some more uh, for you soon. Hopefully I'll get to talk about some more crazy shit. Fucking Slayer.